Hey guys, Steve Harris here with Museums.com. Today I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to change the title of a page in Muse, or rather, what you see in the browser tab when you export a Muse site. So you can see on the browser right here, I have Muse themes and it says wireframe carbon home. Now changing this is a question that we've actually received probably 10 times or so this week in our support portal. So I thought it'd be worth doing a video just kind of explaining how page titles work and how master pages can impact those page titles. So if I jump into Muse, let's start with a blank site here. So we have a home page and if I open up the home page, there's nothing on it right now and I'm just going to preview this in the browser. You'll see that right now in the browser tab, it just displays the word home. So it's basically taking what we've named this page on our plan view in Muse and using that as a page title. So if I go ahead and just control click on this page in the plan view and I go to the page properties, it brings up this option box and underneath the options tab, we have options to change the name, title and that sort of thing. So right now we have the page name set as home. Now the page name is really only something that's used in Muse. So for example, if you're using the automatic menu system that Muse has built in, it's going to use the page name as home. However, the page title is what you're going to see in that browser tab. So by default, this box is checked that says same as page name. But if I uncheck that, and now I change the page title to Muse themes, tutorial, page names, there and click OK. You'll see this page stays named as home, but when I preview this in the browser, now in the browser tab we have that new title that I added to that option box. So for SEO reasons, you want to go through every page on your site and you want to add a unique page title to every single one. And you also may want to ensure that you use some keywords in that page title for searches that you might want to show up on. Now let's open an existing site. This is our wireframe, the carbon wireframe. And if I go to the home page there, you'll see that right now it's just called home and I preview it in the browser. When it loads in the browser, it says Muse themes, wireframe, carbon, home. Well, that's strange because if I go ahead and I actually go to the page properties on this page in Muse, it just says it's called home. So how come it's adding that Muse themes, carbon, all those extra words to the page title? Well, that's because the master page can also have some page titles applied. And the master page is really interesting because it can make things easier for you to do page titles throughout large sites. So if I cancel out of this and I go onto the master page here, it's called a master. Then I click page properties. Then I go to the metadata tab. You'll see here at the bottom, it says page title prefix and page title suffix. So what that's going to do is whatever you put in the prefix box, it's going to add it in before the page name that you've set on your other pages. So let me show you how this can be valuable. Let's say I'm a graphic designer and I live here in Calgary where I'm based and I want all of my page titles to be fairly consistent. So they'll say Calgary web designer, Calgary logo designer, that sort of thing. What we could do is we could put Calgary in the first box with a space. And in the suffix, I could put the word a first a space, then I put designer like that, and I click OK. Now, when I change these page names, let's say this one is web, let's say this one is logo. When I load up the web page and I preview it in the browser, check out the page title. It says Calgary Web Designer. And that's because it added the prefix and the suffix before and after the page name. So on my other page here that I created called logo, that one, if I preview it in the browser, now says Calgary logo designer. So you can see how applying a prefix and suffix to the master page makes it easier for you to have consistent page titles and yet still unique page titles throughout every page on your site. So for SEO reasons, this is gold. You must have this on your site. And if for some reason you can't figure out how to change these page titles, be sure to look at the master and make sure there's no prefix and suffix apply. That's it. That's how to use page titles in Muse. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for another tip next week. Cheers.